Welcome to Buckeye Stacker. Hey everybody, welcome back to Buckeye Stacker. Penny hunting video. This is my second uh, go around and I'm going to do things a little bit different this time around to make the video a little bit quicker. I've been uh, watched a few other penny hunting videos and see how they do it and how they make their videos maybe a little bit more watchable. Um, my first vid go round, uh, you know, vi video is quite long, and uh, you know what I'm going to do. I went uh, to my bank and they were nice enough to do, take my exchange. I rolled them up, um, and they took my exchange and they gave me a, 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 a gave me fifty rolls back a yeah, fresh roll and um they're all these rolls here and i don't know uh, if these are they're all the same i don't know if they're customer rolls or if these have came fresh from uh, the uh, uh, federal reserve or what because they all look the same but um we're going to find out and see if we have any luck with those but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go through the rolls I'm not going to count and go through and tell you how much copper that I got because I don't think anybody really cares about the copper. What they're interested in is maybe the, the wheat pennies or if I get anything, you know, from like uh, the special key dates or anything, spe you know, special or maybe, maybe if I hit, uh, you know, something uh, foreign or, you know, maybe one of the 2009 um, commemorative uh uh, Abe Lincoln sense or something like that or something just you know odd uh, you know or it, so if I hit something interesting that uh, that that I in the role I'll, uh, I'll I'll pause and let you know but ho hopefully uh, you know we'll uh, hit some wheat sense we had some luck hitting some wheat pennies out of uh, the uh, out of the um, uh, last uh, uh, bunch that we had but uh, what I'll just do I'll just go through and we'll see what we get and uh, hopefully we have some luck but yeah wish me luck um i'm gonna get started uh on the first uh first 10 rolls here and um hope everybody's doing well out there and staying safe uh here in uh here in southern ohio our um for well what's the matter pa uh, dotty and my one of my bulldogs he decided to What's the matter? Okay, just want want to say hi. I reckon our uh, our our numbers for the uh, for for the what we'll just call it the beer flu um, have been going up and up. And I hope everybody's staying safe and and um, uh, you know doing okay out there. I'm uh, I'm keeping my my distance from folks and and wearing my mask and all that good stuff. So I hope you are too. Take care, and I'll uh, I'm gonna tear into these and and uh, see uh, see what we get. Hopefully, uh, we'll find something neat. I'll be right back as soon as I can find something. Starting with roll number one. Okay, into roll four, and come across first uh, Canadian penny, 1981. So. That's the first uh, first foreign coin, so keep on rolling. Okay, into roll six, several coins into roll six. Um, got our second Canadian. Penny. Oh, I'm Dottie, I'm grousing at Polly. This is a 1992 game cent. So, moving on. Still looking for a wheat penny. Oh, looks like we've got us a 2009 Lincoln commemorative penny. This, I don't know which one of this this is in the series but there's the reverse Wait. 
That's pretty good shape, I think. There we go. All right. No wheat pennies there yet. That was roll number nine, by the way. Where I found the 2009. Roll number nine. Well, the next Canadian penny. And this one, I forgot to look. Let me see what year this one is. It is a 1991. And get, get you focused in on it. There. There, we go. there it is. And we are on coin roll, on penny roll number. Three, roll number two. Roll number, let's see. Number 13, roll number 13. So, on we go. Okay, and roll number 17, we've got our fourth Canadian penny. And it is a... Let's see, what... Uh, it is a 1977, but I'm going to start uh, back up here. Got just a few pennies later and got a rough, another rough, uh, uh, there we go, there it is, a rough um, 1982 Canadian penny to add to the fact. Still no wheat pennies. Okay, in roll number 20, we've got a rear-facing wheat penny. Very first one, and let's turn it over and see what year we have. And it is a 1948. 1948. Let's get you a look at it there. Look at the reverse. First wheat penny. I was beginning to think we were going to get skunked in this in this box, but at least we got one. We got uh, five five uh, Canadian. We got the one two thousand nine Abe penny. And now we got one wheat penny. So. Maybe maybe we uh, we'll have some more. We'll keep on looking. All right, in roll number twenty three, got another wheat penny, wheat cent, a nineteen fifty six. It's a little rough, but. Focused in on it here. Okay, it's a little rough. Got some schmutz on it. And the obverse and the reverse again. It is a, I believe it's a P. Let me see. Let me look a little closer. Oh, it is a D out of Denver. 1956, D out of Denver. So, another wheat cent to add to the haul for this bunch. And we'll continue going. I almost threw away um, a 2009. It was so cruddy looking. I mm, just about put it in a uh, in a throwback pile. 
This is uh, the one I think they call the Foreman of Beers. Man. Uh, this one's rough. But it is a 2009 nonetheless. We'll put it over here with the other. I just happened to, when I was, this was a, uh, this is roll number 24. And I was just scraping it up and it just happened to be tapping to flip over on, on, to, on the reverse. And I'm like, whoa, I just almost, uh, almost threw that one back and, 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 uh, put it in the, in the sorter. So I'm glad I saw that. So anyhow, the no wheat, neat, no wheat sense. I'll be I'll be back when I find something. All right, roll number thirty, and looks like we got another two thousand nine. And I don't know which which one in the in the uh, I don't know which one in the. I need to just look that up and see. We are. No, there's the log cabin, and there's the one him sitting on the sitting on the log, and there's this one. This one's a little better shape than the other one I found a few a few minutes ago. Found two, two of those. So, anyhow, continue on. Finish out roll number thirty. Keep on moving. Okay, we're in roll number thirty-three, and got an old-looking penny here, and a look, and it is a nineteen. 44 that means it will be a wheat scent and flip it over and sure as a world it is a wheat scent obviously and it is a it have a mint mark no mint mark so it is a wheat scent out of philly a 1944 not too bad a shape seen worse haven't we Whatever. So that is wheat scent number two out of this batch. So at least we're not getting skunked, right? Okay. Let's keep on trucking. Okay, into roll number 36 and got a rear facing 2009. Getting several of these 2009s. And from what I've seen, I've watched a few Penny uh, penny Hunter Oh, which one? Oh, went wrong one. This is a nice, nice looking one. Penny Hunter um, videos. Watch Quinn's Coins and stuff. I guess these aren't popping up very very uh frequently so i'm happy to get them so that's four of them so i got four of them and three wheat cents so and five canadian and i've got several uh 71s and uh so yeah all righty so back at it keep on moving Roll number four to 40, we've got a front-facing wheat scent, 1944, World War II era. The year 
after they started after they made the steel scent so Reverse, pretty good looking. Not bad shape. So that gives us now four. Four wheat cents. So that catches us up four wheat cents, four two thousand nines. And and five Canadians so and we're 40 almost 40 rolls got three three left so might as well look at finish looking at those uh, that's an 87 and a 71 I, and I keep my 71s as you guys know and 2008 so 40 rolls in so picking up I'll be back. Catch anything else. Okay, gonna start on the last 10 here and see how we do. I think overall this this uh, this box hasn't been too bad to us. I've seen uh, seen guys and gals on YouTube that have. Uh, have uh, been skunked uh, a lot, uh, a lot worse than uh, than we have. I think we've done pretty good, and I think you'll be uh, surprised to see how much actual copper uh, been uh, that's been collected in the uh, in the mason jar when we get get done here. So, I'll uh, I'm uh, sort the uh, sort through here, and if I find anything interesting. If you find any wheat scents or anything uh, interesting, I'll uh, I'll be right back. Well, down to the very last roll, and I haven't come across any more wheat pennies or 2009s or foreign or anything like that. So, figured I'd uh, just do the last roll on camera and see uh, see what we come across if I have any luck. Oh, got copper there. Oh, another copper. Eighty-one. Oh, that looks like a copper. Yep, nineteen sixty-eight. Another copper, 77. This looks like a copper. Yep, a 78. Yep. Another copper, is a 68. Yep. Looks like a copper. Well, almost a weedy. It's a 59, though. close. That looks old. 68 copper. And quite a bit of copper in this, in this box. I'll show you here. 93. 80. 
That's a copper. Shield. This one looks old. Sixty eight, got another copper. Oh. Oh. Looks like a copper one there, maybe. Nope, eighty nine. Oh, a 71. A keeper for me. 2000. 91. 95. Shield sent. 2001. And the very last penny looks like it's probably... It's a, Newer win and in the last penny is a 1998 D. So no more wheat, wheat pennies. So let me throw these in the sorter and then I'll show you what we ended up with for a total. Be right back. Okay. So after sorting through 50 rolls, we ended up with with four wheat cents and one that was a 1944 a 19 uh, another 1944 a 1945 and finally a 1956 so three from the 1940s and one from the 1950s and they had uh, four 2009s and then five canadians and uh just to i don't know if i mentioned or not or, or earlier in the video or not but they don't make uh, uh cent coins in canada anymore so that's what's kind of unique about uh, the Canadian uh, cent coins. They don't, uh, they don't even mint them anymore up there. So that's why I kind of pull those out when I do get them and uh, keep them. So anyhow, and I wanted to, uh, got quite the haul of uh, copper uh, coins, which uh, I kind of find out that uh, I was mentioned in my last video that uh, 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 the cent that were 1981 and older, actually it's cents that I, uh, from 1982 on back that are 97% that are, uh, 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 copper. But look, look the, oh, dropped one out. Look at the hull. I'm gonna put the, put the lid on this. This is just from this this jar or this uh, this this uh, uh, this box. It wasn't the last box wasn't even half this full. 
This is just, this, this is this is all this is all the copper. Just from this box. So I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll sort through that and and uh, and put that in rolls. And um and uh, just just keep that for for myself here. And uh, so that's pulled out of circulation. And um put in the buckeye stacker stack. So but yeah. This will be uh this will be up and put in uh this video will be up on, on uh, in, my, in my, new, my second video for my penny hunt. Hope you, uh, hope you like it. This video should be uh, quite a bit shorter than the last one. Um, what do you think of this format? Do you like this a little bit better? And uh, well, you, you like it, Polly? You like this one better? I thought Polly was going to weigh in on it. Anyway, you all take care. And uh, hope you like it. If not, um, and you know what? If uh, I'm, I'm going to start uh, something. If you, if, uh, if, 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 if you are interested in what the, the type of things, uh, the types of uh, equipment that uh, that I use to film the videos with, edit the videos with, uh, the the. Uh, uh, the, the microphone that I use, uh, even the uh, computer that I use, uh, anything that I use to make these videos with, uh, I'm going to start putting that in the uh, in, in the uh, description below so that you can uh, you can get that and uh, and uh, uh, if you want one of those something that that, that I use in the uh, uh, you can get that in the Amazon store, and uh, I get a little piece of that because I am an Amazon affiliate. And um, yeah, so y'all take care, and I'll catch you on the flip side.